We look at community needs and we respond. When a patient comes in here, it doesn't matter whether they're rich or poor, white or black. It doesn't matter where they've come from, it doesn't matter where they live, whether they are pretty or not, whether they're clean or not. Everyone is treated the same. No one is treated any differently, regardless of their status in life. I don't think there's any other hospital in the community that does what we do and has the commitment that we have to the persons that we serve. If you look at the Providence mission for the city, you see not only the 150 patients that come in our emergency room, the 70 patients that get operated on in every day, the 240 elderly and infirm who are in our nursing home every day, you think of the 350 heroin and cocaine addicts that are coming to our clinic and the 100 patients that are down each day at the Perry Family Health Center. It makes a huge difference when you think about all of that together every day happening in our city because of the Providence staff. When Abraham Lincoln asked the Daughters of Charity to open a hospital to care for the sick and wounded during the Civil War, the Daughters of Charity started Providence Hospital here in Washington. We had the first surgery in the city. We had the first social service department in the city. I think the spirit of Providence is the spirit of Vincent de Paul the spirit of a commitment to all God's people. Providence is a safety net institution. It is very critical uh, to the people of Washington and not just to our own neighborhood, but to the entire city. When we see these patients, they're at, they're at their worst. This emergency department is designed to put patients in individual rooms, but what we've had to resort to is putting patients in hallway beds. If we weren't here, there would just be a, a, a big void and people would suffer. We see approximately 9,800 persons a year. These people are forgotten, and they really are. The people we see range from people who are well-to-do families to 13-year-old, 14-year-old girls. If they have domestic violence issues or legal issues, we have lawyers who come into the clinic to help with those things. Of the 1,325 deliveries we had last year, greater than 95% of them were healthy, thriving babies that went home with their moms. Carol Manor is, the idea behind it is to serve our elderly and the poor with a spirit of joy, care, and respect. Well, we definitely serve the frail elderly. Will you just rest up a little? And we also have a, a floor that's dedicated to the uh, residents with dementia. We serve skilled and um, subacute residents. I think the philosophy of care from the beginning to the end, the prenatal to the end of life, is respecting human life. Right now, there are approximately 60,000 addicts in, this, in the Washington, D.C. area. People don't understand that addiction is a disease. We at Seton House have been providing services for about 25 years for uh, detoxification and rehabilitation. What you get out of that is helping someone rebuild their lives, rebuild their family, um, rebuild their self-esteem. The purpose of what happens at the center is to uh, encourage healthier lifestyles among seniors um, in the District of Columbia. Today we had boot camp. You know, they punch the bag, they get out a little frustration, a little aggression. It just motivates them, let them know that, you know, they are strong, they can do stuff even though they're over 60. Come on. 
trying to control my cholesterol with exercise and diet. And it seems to be working pretty good for me. One, two, three, four, five. We've invested in our facility to make it attractive so that we can attract not just patients uh, who don't have any insurance coverage, but also patients who do have coverage. My uh, experience as a patient at Providence Hospital has been great attention, excellent care, and top-notch physicians. Providence Hospital takes care of many people who aren't able to pay and aren't able to uh, get insurance, and as a result, they become uh, part of our charity. That doesn't mean that Providence is a charity hospital. Providence is a first-rate institution with first-rate staff and first-rate equipment. These are our space lab monitors, essential in any critical care unit. We do everything we can through our management, through our employees, to make sure we're stretching every dollar as far as we possibly can. We really have to budget accordingly to be able to go acquire these. And we make sure that we don't have a lot of waste. The mission of Providence is dependent in so many ways on the, on the work of our foundation. Over the years, philanthropies played an enormous role in the development of Providence Hospital and its continuance. Is that, that's something you've already tried? The only reason why my job exists is because of the Health Foundation. Prior to their uh, establishing this grant to, to pull my job, they had never had a social worker in the ER. He, but he would be eligible to get The most important resource we have is not our bank account, is not our equipment, is our staff. Our staff at Providence make Providence what it is. The spirit of Providence is in the family environment. Our mission is joy, care, and respect. And I can honestly say that each and every day when our employees walk in the door, that is the mission that they carry out. Not all of us can be at the bedside of a dying patient. Not many of us can help a, a baby to be born. But we feel uh, that by being a donor, you are there. We do have a responsibility to the next generation to make sure that the work we do here is carried on after we are gone. We'll do anything to make someone and their family feel better. Many people talk about Providence as a, a treasure in our city, and uh, it needs to be protected and nurtured. The spirit of Providence is in the heart and the soul of everyone who walks the halls. This is what Providence Hospital was built on, taking care of those who are poor and underserved, and, and being there for them and healing not just their bodies, but also their spirit, with joy, care, and respect. That's Providence Hospital.